Hi, I'm Teresa the Traveler, and today I'm here with my friend Yvette and my other friend Serena. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> and we are on our way to the center of the universe. Yes, you heard that right, people. The center of the universe. It is located at a resort called Vidette Lake, and it's about an hour and a half drive out of Kamloops. We're crossing through a beautiful valley. It's down the Vidette Dead Man Lake Road. And just admiring the mountains right now. So we're making a little pit stop along the way. We found this abandoned homestead and like an old truck. So we're going to go check it out. So Serena, your uh, vehicle doesn't have a transmission anymore. So you don't have any wheels. No. What about this one? Get in and see if you can take this one for a spin. <laughs> I think it would look good on you. Can, can you get in? Oh, no. kind of probably doesn't run either, hey? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we just noticed there's a tree going through the truck. Serena probably won't be making this her new ride. <laughs> <laughs> One of the cool things I love about the drive is you cross through some really gorgeous lakes along the way. We are uh, pulled over on the side of the road. We're taking a little break because the road to the center of the universe is really windy and narrow and I feel like I want to puke. Mm. Okay girls, I'm ready. Let's give it another shot. To be in a How are you feeling? Are I you feel feeling good. No pukey for you? Nope. And you're in the back seat. Yeah. I got gluten free pretzel and <laughs> naked fruit. <laughs> naked fruit, yeah. I would love some Yvette, but I really don't want to uh, have pukey Puke. naked. <laughs> <laughs> Naked pretzels all over your very beautiful beamer. <laughs> all right, so we're trying this again. Like, look at this road. Oh, good lord. It is. Uh, take gravel before you go on this. <laughs> oh, we're finally here. Keep going straight and then turn into Vidette Lake Resort. We're going to go find Ray. Ray is the owner of the center of the universe and he has a kind of a wilderness resort here at Vidette Lake and he's going to give us a tour. All right, here we are, Vidette Resort. Just got to open the gate here for my friends. Hello, puppy. Okay, come on in. Yeah, don't run over the dog. Hey, doggy. Hi, Ray. <laughs> so our first stop before we go to the center of the universe is the most beautiful view of Vidette Lake ever. So is it Check Vidette that out. Lake? Yeah, this is Vidette Lake. What do you think, girls? Is this gorgeous or what? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous, yeah. So right now we're taking our shoes off because it's a Buddhist thing to connect with the earth and everything. You need to uh, not have the soles of your feet for that. Get your shoes off, girls. Yeah. On the trail here is a footprint of a Sasquatch. According to legend, Sasquatches can turn themselves to stone. What were you saying about Larry the healing tree? Oh, I said Larry's very powerful. He made me cry. Larry is a healing tree and he's located on the way up to the center of the universe. Here he is right here. Apparently Larry is so powerful that when you hug him, he has spiritual healing energy. Ray is on the trail doing a little meditation, getting centered. There are so many cool things on the trail to the center of the universe. And here's another one. This tree right here is growing out of another tree. So it looks like the one tree, the mother, is nurturing the baby tree. And around the corner, it's a three generational tree because the grandmother right there is reaching out and helping as well. So now we are heading to the grassy knoll that they call the center of the universe. The story of how Vidette Lake became known as the center of the universe started in 1980 when a man dressed in white robes 
arrived at Vedette Lake in Dead Man Valley, claiming to have found the center of the universe. The apprentice monk from San Francisco had been sent there by his master teacher, who had pointed to a location on a map, claiming it to be the spot. The apprentice conducted a series of tests which produced positive results, thus clearing the way for his master teacher's visit. Along with his entourage of followers, the master completed his test, proclaiming the top of a grassy knoll overlooking Vedette Lake to be the real deal. Monks believe that the center of the universe is an area where power lines intersect and one can find peace or get centered, hence the name. A number of markers were used to identify the area. It needed to be shaped like the prow of a ship and sloping to the south with supernatural occurrences like hearing the sound of singing and seeing fire with no source of ignition. The site has since become a popular place of pilgrimage for healers and Buddhists worldwide. The portal into the center universe is between the rock and the juniper. So you need to circle it three times before entering. Right here we have female prayer flags. So written on these flags that were put up by a nun are prayers and what they say is that every time a thread breaks loose and goes into the wind the prayers are being sent out into the universe ray is checking serena's aura right now or serena has cervical cancer and she's coming here for some healing over here is the altar and people leave offerings here and the first time i was here i noticed this bracelet here and it was left from a soldier who suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder these are the names of people in his unit who died in Kandahar and when I saw the bracelet it clicked on me that I serve I was there too as an electrician and I'd been suffering from severe depression since I came back and it was the first time I realized I could probably have post-traumatic stress disorder and my road to healing actually started there so today, it's a few years later, and I feel very healed. And my offering is going to be this angel, and it says healing on the back. And I've been carrying this angel around in my backpack for years now. And yeah, I feel healed. So I'm offering it to the site. Serena is now on Turtle Rock. Turtle Rock is a place where people go to get healed. So can you better explain Turtle Rock to me? I'm not sure if I gave that justice. Well, the first people here referred to this whole area as the place of life. And the Turtle Rock is a place where they placed special offerings. And I believe now that if you have a special need or prayer or wish, whatever you call it, that's a good place to ask for it. Not that any of these other places wouldn't work. Serena's having an emotional reaction. She's obviously felt some energy while she was there. There's nothing, no voice, many voice talking at the same time. It's like clear and I can concentrate what I wish the most. Everything, all the motion come together and it's like... Wow. That was the same rock that I stood on when I had my realization that I had post-traumatic stress disorder. It's a very powerful rock. Standing here, thinking of wanting to be able to experience pure love and being able to give pure love and feel pure love towards everybody in the world and my phone goes off there's no service anywhere and all of a sudden I'm getting just keeps beeping like I'm getting messages from everybody <laughs> yeah you're right there is no cell service up here I know but I just got two three messages <laughs> standing on the rock yeah <laughs> hey Ray you heard that there's no cell service up here is there because I've never gotten any and one came from Florida from Brian, Florida. Brian just texted me. Your son? Yeah. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Shivers down my spine. I know, me too. <laughs> All right, it's my turn on the rock. Look at the cool thing about this rock is you put your feet down here and it's like it was made for feet. I don't know if it's from so many people standing here or if the rock was already formed to have these foot patterns in it. Now Ray is checking Serena's aura after she's been on Turtle Rock. So what happened? Is Was there a shift? Yeah, it doubled. Her aura doubled? Yeah. Before we leave, we're going to sign the guest book. You first, Yvette. Well, Ray, thank you so much for your tour. And if someone wants to come visit the center of the universe, how do they reach you? They call 250-395-0845 and make an appointment. Awesome. Is there a website where they can find you as well? Yeah, vedettecou at gmail.com. Awesome.